Here we go into uncharted waters. Content I've never done before on any character. So, we need to go to the to we need to find some mighty morphin far kids and we're going to go catch a train apparently. And we're going to get some kind of relic from it. So, without further ado, let's be off. Three horns divide. You can buy weapons from Marcus and Sanctuary. You can also sell them to loot you no longer need. And our inventory is clear, yeah. Catch a the three things we got there. Let's see how the saw plate goes. Oh, we need a fire weapon, don't we, in order to wake him up, and we got rid of our fire weapons, so we should <coughs> fix that. So how does Zero get out of this car? Ah, okay. The character, a lot of the characters have different animations for how they go about doing that. Not imagining that, right? He did originally say, uh, you're gonna need a fire weapon, right? I don't know if it says it right here. Whatever, we're gonna go find one just to be safe. <laughs> what are the odds we put one in our bank? Gotta find two more iridium, then we can get max inventory space. <coughs> Do we have a bit fire in here? Slag. No fire. We put the shield there because we're gonna try out the new one, but I'm not expecting to really love it. anything good. My weapon machines will fix that for ya. Whatever. It gives me challenges, right? I don't actually care, but... Oh, look at <gasps> Handsome Jack helping all the kiddos. <laughs> what a guy. I'll save your gold earned life. Plus 38 damage, that's pretty pathetic. Come on back anytime. You can always trust the gun at your side. Corrosive? But, uh, no fire. Do I want a corrosive weapon? Hmm. It's better against loaders, technically. It has a chance to do that corrosive of damage, right? Gotta find a fire weapon apparently, because Marcus is not selling them, and there's none in the other ammo store. And I think those are the only two gun stores here in town. So, all right. 
Well, that was a few minutes of doing absolutely nothing, was it not? Haven't found anything good. My weapon There's a fire weapon. There's a fire weapon. Unsurprising. All right, we got us this far. Hey y'all, welcome to the new and improved catch a ride. Now with 47 percent, more than 26 percent death annually. That is okay, here we go. Tundra Express. You can shoot a cycle, shoot a cycle's buzz axe out of the air, huh? You'll have to signal our man. I'll bet anything he's sleeping off a hangover, so you'll have to wake him up. The sound of some bar kids burning alive at the same time ought to do it. You got a fire gun, right? Feeling overburdened by money. Don't have too much fun. Well, we're we there. We just get another upgrade to what we get. Catch you. That's a pretty significant upgrade for those three levels, huh? I guess it's because we lack the rising shot skill, which I don't actually care about in the first place, so... Please insert any donated organs into the receptacle below. <coughs> fire melon? What the hell's a fire melon? Observe transformation? What? Good. Now hit it with the injector, please. Many view these creatures as mere cannon fodder, oblivious to their elegant design. Lovely. Oh dear lord, it's disgusting! Kill it, kill it, kill it! Eyes deceive you, an illusion fools you. I want to kill. Oh. The bar can't make no speech and noise unless you burn them. Yeah, I'm kind of busy right now. Everyone, thank you. Shut up, Roland. Please bring me a sample of that market's corpse, if you would. If we're to defend against these buggers, it's that fun again. We must know all we can about them. Let's see if this works. Ready? Don't set them on fire. The Vark kids won't screech our man out of his hangover. Time to go to work. I just need a few more samples such as that. The same process as before. Force them to cocoon, hit them with the injector, kill them. Good luck. Okay. Mutating. How much more damage do I need to do to it to get it to mutate? <coughs> I don't think this thing's gonna mutate right now, I gotta just tell you. You little bugger, if you want me to, we'll set you on fire. I stashed a fire weapon in one of the snowmen if you need it. J 
you shoot the snowman in the head and you'll get your gun. That not count? How did that not count? I guess it just the explosion killed it. Light on fire, damn you. There we go. Oh, hey, hello, Mordecai. So loud, so angry. So dead. With that. Uh, hey, Walt, honey. Uh, Welcome to the Crimson Raiders. <laughs> Sorry you had to wake me up. I might have celebrated a little too hard last night after Bloodwing and I raided a Hyperion convoy. <laughs> Ain't that right, Blood? <laughs> Easy, girl. So. Hyperion train is speeding through the Tundra Express. If my intel's good, and it usually is, the vault key itself might be on board. My advice? Do what I do. Steal the key, get drunk, pass out. <laughs> Without the vault key, Jack can't control the warrior. You gotta hijack that train, soldier. My old friend Tina can help. Go talk to her. Something just happened over there. Anyway, so we got like 20% more damage per shot, but a lot less fire rate. I don't know, we'll give it a shot. I don't like the sheer delay of the. Another trophy for my wall! Something wherever he is. And there he is. Did that hurt? <laughs> All right, but we got to find some more mighty morphin var kids. So let's focus on that. Getting close to that thing really hurts. Preparing to strike. Oh, 
Oh, nice melee damage. And that's not bad. Corrosive damage, too. That's pretty good. There we go. Badass approaching. Shield down, boss. You heard him. Thirteen damage. <coughs> Jake's pistol. That's pretty nice. Melee shield. That's better than what we got. <coughs> That's eight forty-nine. Nine ninety-seven now. <coughs> we cannot afford the last. Well, we could already afford the last backpack upgrade. Apparently, several items ago. If you're using rising shot, I guess that'd be good. Okay, we need two more of these samples. Well, I'm trying not to die. That's always good. Trying to melee these guys <coughs> really apparently hurts. Said a critical to something, I just don't know what I critical is. How hilarious! You just set off my trap card. Your death approaches. Crazy, gotta say. Alright, we need one more. Those mutated basses are tough suckers.
killed the pot I injected. What a guy. Thank you for slagging everything, but that did not actually help me really right there. Shooting something way over there. I have no idea what it is. Is there anything of interest over here? Out of these things, the thorax? I'm not sure, honestly. Okay, we did it, even though we're melting. This part's not so great. Okay. Train to catch. Meet Tina. Damn it. I thought this was gonna be simple. Meet wake the spy. Hijack the train, get the ball. Train. I'm also not super impressed so far with the Hyperion shield. kind of suspicious. So I walk under it, is it going to like fall on my head? She is a bomb maker and a friend of mine. I've saved her life a few times and she's saved mine even more. She'll help you out, but here's a tip. Don't make any sudden movements near her. A lot of bombs, huh? Chase the 
told me you were coming. I still owe him for all that butt crap with General Rancid. So you gotta hijack a train, huh? Child's play! Let me introduce you to my ladies. Running, 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 and running over here. Run, 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 run. This here is Mushy Snuggle Bites, and this is Felicia's Sexo Pants. These fine ass women could stop that train for you, but I'm gonna need their badonkadonks first, and they got stole by the bandits a few days ago. Go get them! <laughs> I know Tina can be odd, but she's the most gifted demolitions expert on Pandora. Just do what she asks, and I guarantee she'll help you hijack the train and get the vault key. She's like a psycho's mask on the side of her head. Nah, man, no new jobs, please. Nah, I'm good. Nah, man, no new jobs, please. Nah, I'm good. Nah, man, no new jobs, please. Nah. Welcome, customer. Five shots per second with plus 50 me. I might hold on to that. Okay, Tiny Tina's <laughs> Workshop, world's deadliest 13 year old. I'm going to go find uh, the donk donks. On the coast of damage is good against the robots, but I don't think it's going to help against the bar kids. See, they're probably like immune to them or something. I wonder if we can get, even get up there. See, it won't let us go forward. I just want to say hi, Mordecai. Oh, we never went and we sh we never shot and let's see. And I disappear, a ghost amidst the combat, preparing to strike. And if you're wondering why is that such a big deal other than being really cool. Capstone. Killing a melee at enemy with a melee attack while deception is active causes you to re-stealth and adds time. So, you know, we, we do that and we just keep chaining that back to back and back and back. So the same when you have weak enough enemies to kill with it, obviously. We never went, we never shot the snowman in the head. Let's go find that snowman. We need to go. That way? No, we need to go south, right? Okay. Fear my skills! If you're wondering why we didn't one shot him there, it's because we didn't wait nearly for the full execute bonus. So instead of like 650% extra melee damage, we got a lot less. Also, there's a new quest over there. Did I miss that somehow? Oh, did Mordecai just like trash a helicopter? Nice. If you're hearing this, you just killed me. And let me just say, no hard feelings. Before you wasted me, I kept my best guns in my garage. Considering how badass you must be to have blown me away, I'd say you deserve them. I know this sounds like some sort of trap, <laughs> but you're just gonna have to trust me. Ha, huh, Flint's tender box, level 15. Nice. I'm legally obligated to tell you, I, I ain't a real doctor. Next 
Okay, are we really... I don't know. So this is 448. I think I'm gonna go grab the other shield. I don't really like in this one as much. As, especially like those Varkids there. I'd rather have the extra shield and the other benefits of the other one. So we have the Krosis Sniper there as backup when we want to use it. Alright, so this should give us a better... It's not actually that much better, I guess, but immunity to crow damage is kind of would be nice right now with these Varkids, so... Okay. So we have 20 inventory slots free in effect, right? Because we have four weapons right now. Twenty-eight. You know where to find me. Okay, so you can still keep buying, but now it costs fifty. It's a bit of a price increase. So let's up this other stuff first. Okay, I think we're gonna be waiting a while until we try to go up to uh, fifty iridium. <coughs> I guess Iridium Collection gets really serious later on in the game. <laughs> Alright, let's go trigger this trap. So on our skills though, we want we want ambush and we want follow through. We want both, really. Resurgence, twenty percent health is up to twenty percent health is doesn't seem that necessarily amazing. Like the wind is obviously some bonus, but it's not much better than Iron Hand in that regard. I think we might want to have both of these. Like this, like the wind, will benefit our first execute, unlike follow through, but follow through will allow, and allow subsequent executes to do more, right? So. Man. failed to kill you twice, you got to give him some credit for planning ahead. You suck. Hmm. Let's try this sucker out, just for kicks. So we have a new assault rifle. So the assault rifle we have is 199. This only takes one ammo per shot, so that's good, but the bigger thing is... It does other stuff. Okay. Okay, so backstep is eventually is going to eventually be more important, I think. Oh wait, that's, I'm not sure if that's actually multiplicative. I think it's ambush that might be multiplicative. Let's go for follow through, just so we have that extra movement speed and gun damage and melee damage. 
Especially if you then if you pick off if you pick up a strong enemy, it helps you clean up the weak ones. Can these explosions hurt ourselves? No. We open a new chapter in our life, one where we are now using an assault rifle. Time for squishies! Approaching, your eyes deceive you. Puppet boy is about to teach you some math! I know what he's doing, but he's not about to spend all the dollars! situation of me having to chase him very slowly is exactly what I'm trying to avoid. Come on back here, you buzzard. Damn it. Donk a donk. It's supposed to touch powerful enough to level a city block. Eyes deceive you. An illusion fools you. I move for the kill. That was kind of cool. Reminds me of playing Genji in Overwatch with Swift Strike. There in the sky, no problem. Let's go. Dashing around through the sky like, don't give a don't give a damn. Try something out though. Is that a 
doll. Burst fire will zoom. Well, that makes that lot a lot less appealing as it's going to chew through my ammo like crazy. But I guess it's good for burst when you really need it. Man, I wish you could have got four weapons. Also, if you try to go outside those bounds, those guns will kill you. I hear. I technically have not tested it. Alright, so we've got uh, Tiny Tina's Badonka Bonks, and we're going to go turn this in, which will help us catch a train, apparently. Through re for reasons that are not immediately clear to me. Mordecai is still slugging everything that moves. I wish I had as much sniper ammo as he does, apparently. Alright, Tiny Tina, you done with your nap now? Apparently she just went back to it, take a nap. Joy. Awesome! Just a secco. This is gonna be good. Tina and Roland, apparently. Flower. Get out of my shop or I'll punch your butt. That's how tiny Tina So apparently these rabbits are going to be put on the missiles or something. I think this is their way of seeing we're not trying to we don't want to animate whatever she's going to do. Stuffed animal, Tiny Tina seems to have combined with a high yield rocket somehow, with extra dynamite sticks just attached. Put my damsels in the choo choo track and set them up! Good plan, great plan. Hey yo, I got stuff I need done, boy. Sup, sucker? Got a very important tea party coming up, and my date is missing, and I am not going stag! Don't even suggest it! His name is Sir Reginald Von Bartlesby, a local aristocrat and purveyor of the fine arts. I believe his mother has forbidden him from speaking with you. You will convince her to release him into my custody. <laughs> Mansipate Sir Reginald. Okay. Welcome, customer. I guess we can keep this Patriots TMP just for the sake of having it. I don't know really that cartel terror was doll. I thought it was Malo on that burst fire, man. I mean, if I really want to waste a bunch of robots, I guess it's good. Just for the sheer DPS the thing will put out without needing to aim for critical spots or needing them. But it's definitely not very uh, effective when you only have trains. Original. Thank you. Well, that's over kind of where we were exploring earlier, wasn't it? Sir Reginald is only one of the many illustrious guests 
who will be attending my tea party. I have also invited Princess Fluffybutt, who has gazongas like you would not believe. You'll be rounding her up, ladies. Buzzard Academy. Nothing like a challenge to kill. This is your last. You know what? Let's put this thing to you. Throwing. There we go. So that'll work. I gotta swear those, those torque weapons that, uh... It's like, oh, look at that. Oh, did they speed up after you shoot them? I think they speed up after you shoot them. It's not just a constant slow-moving projectile. Why would they speed up? They like sh rockets or something that are kicked out and then launch under their own power? I don't know, man. I just need to f know how to find a man Sir Reginald Barnesby or whatever it was. Please excuse Madame von Bartlesby's disposition. She's no! Why would you do that, Madame Sarkovic? Like, whoa. Holy shit. Now go get Sir Reginald. We have so many things to discuss. Okay, well, I was hoping to not need to do that, but damn, she, like, obliterated me there. Okay, apparently I need to get better at dodging attacks. You got Sir Reginald! Now I just need you to find Princess Fluffy Butt and get me some scrap metal from the buzzard so you can make me a teapot. Just blow up some buzzards and pick up the flaming bits. Oh, and feel free to get some crumpets on the way. Crumpets are crook!
Well, guys, if you touch them, they will explode. There's basically attached to Buzz, and you're basically now you look better as a smoking hulk of scrap metal. And so it was. We also need to collect crumpets somehow. I'm not quite sure how we collect crumpets. But crumpets are very important, obviously. It's a lot of buzzards. You know what I think we should do to those buzzards? We should use this assault rifle. Check out those. Hooray for us. I need to come up with a good way of killing those efficiently, really. Buzzards would just have the decency to not go flying up in the sky, so we could melee them more easily. And then they, as soon as I come after them in the sky, then they run away. I mean, really. <laughs> Crumpets, the chosen dish of people of people who say things like "I beg to differ" and how positively droll. So many goddamn crumpets is gonna be a crump apocalypse. Oh, nice. Okay. I know what we're going to be doing here. Challenge to kill. 
So he, these are re-recorded, that's not how I said them in Borderlands 1, the inflection is definitely different. Oh, do I need to, like, find all three of these and turn them on at the same time or something? I'm not quite sure, man. We're looking for another alarm somewhere over here, maybe. I'm assuming they're gonna be spread out, but you now I don't actually know. A ghost amidst the combat. Preparing to strike. is that they're all in this area. That could be wrong. Maybe they're actually like in the other three areas, right? We got this area. We got stuff up there. Maybe that's what it is. I bet that's what it is. I bet it's not actually here. It's in another area. And I will be feel bad if I am proven wrong for that. So let's go check the other areas because I've been just looking around here for a bit without a ton of success. Okay, there's another bandit outpost over here. Positive reinforcements.
things like that. I think it's quieting down. Not quiet. I just pop that for like that tiny bit, it still it's like double damage on that melee attack from execute alone, plus whatever initial bonus was given. Okay, so we found two of the alarms, we just gotta find one more. And then we'll probably call the video then and pick up with gathering up Princess. Uh what the hell, we'll go get Princess Fluffy Fluffy Bud. and the other ones over there. Fast travel station up there, okay. But we're looking for a collection of buildings. So something like this seems like it might be more appropriate. Step straight out rather than coming in at an angle. Which I feel is making it easier to land critical hits. Okay. I think we did the challenge. Positive reinforcements. Go summon all sorts of reinforcements on your head. What's up here?
lagging magnum. Inventories full. No. What do we got that's bad? 112, 113. But these are more. All right, we gotta go. Let's go sell. I do an enters a waypoint, okay. Yeehaw. <laughs> Some good vibe card. We're just gonna go over and say hi to Tiny Tina, and by say hi, I'm gonna sell the stuff. And by sell the stuff, I'm gonna miss the turn off. A marker, even though I just put it down. Okay, sell our stuff. Go grab Princess Fluffy Butt. Come on back. That doesn't set it off either. So Mortar Guy is considered level 18, but Tiny Teen does not have a level, probably because she's Welcome a child. child. Uh, set a terrible precedent. Um, that's the uh, arm assault rifle. I don't know if I'm really going to use this. I'd rather I use that assault rifle if I need to use corrosive. I guess we can hang on to this just for the sake of having it. Oh, this one's way better. Okay. Yeah, melee damage and I can slag him with it. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Time to go get Princess Fluffy Butt and then turn the quest in, and that's where we'll stop for this video, which is more than an hour at this point already, I'm aware. I've always found the fact that that station is so big compared to the moon, that it actually has a shadow on the moon that's so visible, I've always found that an interesting detail. I think the backstab, I, I need to check and see whether it's multiplicative or not, I guess. If the ambush is multiplicative, I don't know if backstab is. What I mean by that is, so this right here, the ambush, I'm pretty sure is multiplicative. I think ambush damage plus 4%. But I don't know if backstab is, because it just says 8% melee damage, right? Which means it might not stack that well. Still a larger raw bonus, so... A, ti a doll modified by Tiny Tina have a live grenade where its head should be. I got Princess Fluffy Butt! Oh, man. This party's gonna be off the chisel for Rizzo! <laughs> Turn in the Mighty Morphin? No, I did not. Okay. We'll do another time. Stealth. I just 
if they miss those. Oh, that was Time for a refreshing, relaxing tea party. Nothing I'm sure is going to be weird about this. I wonder why the moon has those like red cracks though and if you look up there. It's not that it's a shadow. The rest of the moon doesn't seem to have those red cracks, only just up the Hyperion satellite. It's a VAR kit in a glass container. It's a VAR kit in a glass container with a mustache and a top hat. Okay. I've just got to invite the guest of honor. Now, to invite the guest of honor! How you doing, boo? Gah! Here I am about to throw a tea party and that guest of honor is missing! Do me a flavor and lure our guest or I'll eat your babies. His name's Flesh. Find Flesh Stick. Okay. Well, that's where we'll stop this video, and we'll resume next time cordially inviting Flesh Stick to the tea party. Which we have Sir Reginald von Bartersby, Lady Tina of. Blow up your. Fochum? Blow up your Faceheim. Princess Fluffy Butt and Evil Bastard that killed my parents. And there's a metal contraption here. I don't think this is going to end well for Flushstick. See you next time.